Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. And then uh, my son, Pastor Faustin, the Lord has spoken with me. The Lord Jehovah, he has spoken with me on this day. And uh, I see a very severe drought that is coming to the land. And this region, again, I see a very severe drought coming to the land and this region. And uh, I see a lot of laying of pipes, irrigation pipes, people trying to lay pipes in the fields. And that is because rain has not come in this nation and in this region. And uh, so I see a drought coming. It's a very severe drought. It's a very, very severe drought. But I also understand that the message of the Lord is very simple, that the nation needs to repent and the nation needs to maintain a correct relationship with the mighty prophet of the Lord in this country. This nation needs to maintain an honorable relationship with the mightiest prophet of the Lord that is walking in this land. It is obvious to everybody globally right now on who is walking in this land here. And when I see this kind of conversation and warning from the Lord Jehovah about a drought that is coming, a historic drought, then I understand that the fellowship between the land and the Lord is not right. There are many things, sometimes the land tries to hurt the man of God, try to hunt him down to kill him. Those are things that are not good. They will bring down the big blessing that the Lord had bestowed on this land when he brought his glory. And so I am also aware that the servant that speaks here has the authority to command heaven to open and bring down that rain, that dew that uh, I see lacking in this conversation. And so I am very hopeful that repentance will be observed, and then the Lord will uh, will mitigate on this. He will uh, He will pass over the land. That calamity would pass over the land. I know that Kenyans are very obedient people especially right now in this ministry, that when this is going to be heard, people will repent in their own hearts, in their houses, as they go to work tomorrow, I mean uh, on Tuesday, as whatever they do, they will observe personal repentance before the Lord. And probably we will end up with a national day of repentance. Because I am aware that the servant that speaks with you now, he that speaks with you now has the authority and the key to command heaven open to bring rain. So I am very hopeful that that drought, if the nation repents, will pass over this country. It was a conversation that is very difficult for me to deliver to you, especially considering the big revival that is in this land. I would love the greater revival and more of the people of the Lord preserved. But the Lord, he is holy. The Bible says, for without holiness, no one will see the Lord. And the Father instructs that be holy, for I am holy. So that is important at this hour, that... uh, there will be personal repentance across the land, and then probably one day a national repentance. And also I know that uh, come Sunday next week, uh, this ministry that has probably more than 20 million people or so will observe uh, repentance in the churches. And the Lord is faithful enough to hear these prayers of repentance and the turning away from sin. Again, I see severe drought, very, very severe. I wouldn't love to see that drought hit this land. But I know that he that speaks with you has the authority to speak to the Father to bring down rain. However, 
the holy man's requirements, the, the holiness requirements of the Lord. The holiness requirements of the Lord remain, they stay. And that's why it would be important for the church to be prudent, for the Messiah is coming. The Bible says in Matthew 24, 7, that in those days there will be famines and earthquakes in various places as landmarks, as markers, have signs towards the coming of the Messiah. May we prepare those that have ears. May you prepare for the glorious coming of the Lord, the Messiah, the King, my Lord and Savior. 